Okay, so now we're going to try and um, do the tuning in VNMRJ software. So here I'm on my desktop computer and I have a team viewer session to the V500 at 500 megahertz NMR in the NMR room. So um, I'm going to launch uh, uh, VNMRJ. And there we go. In the lab, you won't see this team viewer thing. It's just because I'm running team viewer remotely. Um, move it out of the way here. And um, so you've made up your sample. You then put it inside the NMR uh, using the eject and insert buttons. And now you're ready to tune the NMR. So we go to the command line and we type in M tune and press enter and you can see the parameters down here changed. Now uh, the first thing that you gotta change is it says tune RF channel and it's one. So one is the high band channel. It controls uh, fluorine and uh, proton. And so you gotta pick one of those. You're, you, we're just gonna do proton. And then channel two is everything else, you know, uh, for our purposes, carbon, nitrogen, and uh, phosphorus. And so we're going to go back to channel one, and we're going to make sure it's on proton, and that's 500 megahertz, and we're just going to click on start probe tune. Now you're going to wait till you get some data, and see I have some data now, and then you're going to press the auto scale button. And what I like to do is grab this little red cursor line and move it over to the green uh, frequency line. So the green one is your desired frequency. And the only reason I do that is because it's easier to see far away the, 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 the red line. And so now what you're going to do, or what I'm going to do, is go to the NMR room and adjust the, the, the barrel and the knob on the tune stick for proton until I have the system tuned. So that's going to take me a few minutes because I'm in my office, but we'll give it a try.
So I went into the NMR room and then adjusted the uh, capacitor so, and the, the, the barrel and the knob. And now you can see that the, uh, the dip is on the red line now. And I could still t tune it some more because you can see there's some distance between the baseline and, and the dip. But uh, there wasn't a sample in there, so I'm just not going to way off tune it. And so if you had it as good as you're going to get it, you know, after uh, going back and forth, and they're interacted to each other. And you, can s you saw that sometimes I had to turn it way up far back and then turn the knob and it'll go back down again. And turn it way far back on the barrel and then turn the knob and it goes back again. So they're not totally uh, independent over here. There's some um, coupling between the two. And once you're done, then you hit stop probe tune. And if you're totally done, then you can just hit quit. And that will kick you out of the uh, M-Tune menu and back into regular VNMR. So I'm going to go back into M-Tune. M-Tune. And at this point, you say, I tune the proton channel. Then you would go to channel 2, and it says carbon 13. You hit start probe tune. Wait till you get some data. And then hit the uh, auto scale button and uh, drag the red cursor over. And by default, the span, that's the window that you're looking for, is 10 uh, megahertz. But sometimes I will actually change that out to 100. And that'll give you a much bigger window, say I auto scale. That's in case someone was doing some off frequency, uh, say some phosphorus or nitrogen, they tune the probe and now I, in that 10 megahertz window, you don't see the uh, proton, I mean the carbon uh, dip anymore. It, maybe it's over here. And so I'll bring it back over into the 10 megahertz window and then change that back to 10 again. And then once I got some data, hit auto scale. But this is where the dip is and it needs to be brought over to uh, here. To, um, but I'm not going to do it right now because I forgot to put a sample in there. So, But that's the general procedure. And then once you're done, you just hit stop probe tune and then quit. And that's really all there is to uh, tuning it.